Hello everyone and welcome to the penultimate day of Shark Week. Yes, only one more day to go and then it's over. So whether you've enjoyed Shark Week or hated it, it will all be over on Sunday with the last shark video. And then next week, I'll be back to doing a mixture of vacuum cleaner brands, both vintage and brand new. But today we've got a shark upright cleaner for you. This is a corded upright and it's one of the cheaper shark uprights. It is a lift away, but it isn't a powered lift away and it doesn't even have the duo clean brush roll. So this is what I would call an entry level shark mains powered upright cleaner. Okay, without any further ado, I'll get everything out of the box and we'll have a closer look. This shark corded upright comes out of the box nearly fully assembled. All we have to do is add the hose and the wand. The included tools with this machine are a crevice tool for your nooks and crannies, a multi-purpose brush. It's got quite a soft brush on it, so it's good for lampshades, bookshelves, delicate curtains, etc. You can remove the brush and now you've got an upholstery nozzle for your upholstered furniture, stair carpets, etc. With this PET model, we get a mini turbo head. This is just a standard head. It's not got the anti-hair wrap feature, just got regular brushes here. But that does open up, should it become tangled up with hair, you can actually remove the top part to remove any hair or unclog it if it becomes blocked. Being a non-powered lift away machine, this is just a regular stretch hose. It's not long enough to reach up a standard flight of stairs, but you do have the lift away pod. So you can be carrying the pod with one hand while using the hose with the other. So that's not a problem. And it is long enough when connected to the machine with a machine like this in the upright mode, it's still long enough to do your upholstery and reach up to do some high level dusting, especially when you have the wand attached. So this is the wand. It also forms part of the handle of the machine. The cleaner is very easy to assemble. First of all, we need to attach the handle slash wand. It goes with the shark logo at the top facing front. Just slide it in at the back of the machine until it clicks into position. Next, insert the hose into the back of the cleaner. Then attach the handle to the end of the wand until it clicks into position. Next, wrap the eight meter mains cable to the hooks on the side of the cleaner. Just under the plug, there's a little clip. You can use that to secure the plug end to the rest of the cable so it doesn't come undone when you're carrying or storing the machine. When you come to use the machine, you can simply turn down the top hook and all the cable releases in one go. The crevice tool stores on the side here and the multi-surface tool fits on the other side. Unfortunately, there's no onboard tool storage for the turbo nozzle. Here's the cleaner fully assembled. There's a conveniently placed carry handle at the top of the dirt bin and the machine is pretty light to carry around. Not much weight there. So if you're looking for a fairly light upright, I would suggest that this is in the lightweight upright category. This shark upright has a more traditional brush roll so you don't get the duo clean or anti hair wrap features on this particular model. You do however get six bright LED lights to help illuminate the dirt in dark corners. The brush roll has a chevron design so it sweeps the dirt into the middle of the cleaner where it has the most powerful airflow. This is the dirt bin that's easily removed for emptying. Simply pull the triggers either side of the handle and remove the bin. To empty it, there's a silver button here at the back. Just press that and the flap opens for you to dispose of the dust and dirt. There's a central shroud here just in the middle of the bin. You can see that more clearly when I open up the top. It's important that that's kept clean. Occasionally you might get pet hair or human hair if it's long wrapped around this. So every time you empty it, open up the top and check that this is clear. If it's not, Either use your hands to pull out the debris or a damp cloth. When you remove the dirt bin, you'll find two filters and sharks say you should wash these once a month for peak performance. 
I get many comments on other maintenance videos I've done showing how to wash the filters of various vacuum cleaners and many people say they didn't even realize it had a filter. So always keep your filters clean, especially if you've got a bagless vacuum. But with this Shark model, you can see the filter as soon as you take the bin off and you'll see when it gets dirty. You might have to wash this more than once a month, depending on use. So the first filter is a thick foam sponge. And then the second one is a felt or fabric type filter. So both of these are washable. Make sure they're dry, leave them for 24 hours before putting them back into the machine. Fits snugly like that. Once the filters are clean and dry, you can pop the bin back. The HEPA post motor filter is located behind this cover. To remove it, pull it from the bottom, take the cover off, and you now have access to the washable HEPA filter. To take this filter out, there's a tab at one side, just squeeze that and you can remove the filter. Sharks say you should only need to wash this filter about once a year. If you use your machine heavily, you might want to wash it every six months. But again, once it's washed, you have to make sure it's dry before putting it back onto the cleaner. So you just locate it back at one side and push it in. It's clicked into position then relocate the cover from the top first and push it at the bottom. This is where you switch on the shark. You can select from hard floor or carpet. In hard floor mode, the brush roll rotates at a slower speed. This button releases the wand for your above floor cleaning. And this foot pedal here converts the shark into lift away mode. With the cleaner in lift away mode, you can attach the small tools directly to the end of the wand. Or when cleaning in tight spaces, you can connect the tools directly to the end of the handle. The handle incorporates a suction control that works both in upright and lift away mode. Before you start vacuuming, fit the cable into the clip at the back of the handle. Okay folks, it's time to try out this shark corded upright cleaner for the first time. To lower the handle, Simply place your foot on the head and pull the handle back. Now I'm going to start on maximum suction, but if I find the cleaner hard to push, I'll select minimum on the suction control. Okay then, here goes. Right, I'm afraid. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm afraid I've stalled at the first hurdle. All the other Shark Upright cleaners I've tried have got the Duo Clean brush roll. Well, tried recently anyway, and they're fine on this carpet. They move around it fine. They don't stall. They're easy to push. This is a standard brush roll machine and on maximum suction on the handle, I couldn't move it. So I am, I am going to have to reduce the suction and hopefully now, I'll be able to move this machine. Oh dear, right. Oh dear, this particular shark doesn't like my carpet. It's, it can be pushed on the minimum setting, but it is still very hard to push. This is a Saxony carpet. It's not a very deep pile, but it's quite a plush pile. And I find it defeats many of the vacuum cleaners I've tested. This machine, I'm going to try it on some shorter pile carpet. I'm sure this machine on a shorter pile, short to medium pile will be fine. But on this pile or a pile longer than this, you might struggle to push it. I'm going to give it another go. It is collecting dirt, which is surprising because this bit of carpet here has been vacuumed several times a day this week while I've been making videos and they've all been cleaned with a shark. But this one, mm, I'll give it another go.
Right. <sighs> yeah. That's a shame. Now, a lot of people think, you know, I'm very biased towards certain brands and because I'm showing a whole week of shark cleaners, it must be because I love shark cleaners. Well, some shark cleaners I like very much. Some I've shown you this week, but some fail. Yesterday's video, I wasn't too keen on that particular corded stick. And so far I'm not keen on this one, but only because it doesn't like this carpet. I'm going to try it, as I've said, on shorter pile carpets. And if I was to unbox this, say at my mother's house, who's got medium to short pile carpet throughout, I'm sure in her house, this will be easy to push. But uh, yeah, ooh, that's a shame. I've got a piece of carpet here that's a much shorter, less dense pile than my living room carpet. So I'm gonna try the shark on this with suction at max initially. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> I can't move it on max. Right, try minimum. Okay, it's doable on, me, on, on minimum power, but it's still hard to push. I'm very disappointed because from the dirt bin, I can see it is actually getting out some dirt, but it's giving me a workout. I'm gonna fetch the rug I've been using quite a lot during Shark Week to uh, demonstrate the shark cleaners and see how it copes with a pile on that rug. If I can find it, let me just move the cleaner and fetch the other rug. Okay, starting on maximum suction again. Okay, well on maximum, I could push it, but again, it was quite hard to push. For ease of use, I did have to open up the suction control on the handle to minimum. So there was less suction, but far easier to push. But it is picking up the dirt. Now we can see here from the bin, there's a bit of fluff and hair, but I keep finding old dirt from previous demonstrations. And here is some red sand. I've been using that this week, so it's not too old, but it's found that in this little piece of carpet. Possibly some of it's come out of this rug actually as well. And maybe a lot of that fluff is actually from the rug I've just vacuumed. So it is cleaning, but really I can't see it being suitable for many homes if it's this hard to push. This is the cordless upright cleaner I featured on day two of Shark Week and so far I still think this is an excellent machine. In fact I've been using it in between making all my shark videos this week just to clean the house because I like it so much. It's picking up dirt, it's easy to push. I can push it on my living room carpet even on boost mode although it is easier to push on medium or deep clean mode and in fact I'll hardly ever need to use Boost, I think, on this particular shark. So this shark, in my experience so far, is just not suitable for my living room carpet, and it's still pretty hard to push on an average medium to low pile carpet as well. So I would avoid it, to be honest, if you've lots of carpet in your home and you think that's going to be an issue, I would suggest spending a bit more and at least buying a shark with the Duo Clean brush roll, because the rotating soft roller at the front does help to move the machine along and it does clean deep pile carpets better it just well at least it's easier to push i don't doubt that this is a good deep cleaner judging by the dirt i've already found in the bin but if it's that hard to push it's making your housework a very difficult job then it's just 
it's one to avoid in my opinion sorry to say i'm going to do a few pickup tests on this uh, rug here i'll see how it is on hard floors as well i would think the duo clean brush roll would be better on hard floors especially for larger particles but i'm going to try it give it a good test carpet hard floors but um yeah i don't think this will be a recommended upright to be honest There's no denying that this shark vacuum can actually clean, but boy, it's hard work. I've got a sweat on and I don't expect to be sweating when vacuuming my carpets. I want the job to be as quick and easy as possible, as I'm sure most of you watching this video also want that from your vacuum. But you can't deny it picked up the bits. It's worked very well. I did use it on maximum suction for most of the demo, did manage to push it on this rug, but towards the end, I switch to minimum just to finish off and it still picked up all the bits so you know it's got all the dirt plus quite a lot of fluff from the rug as well a little bit of dirt has made its way to the filter just a few specks of red sand has actually got to the filter already anyway i'll persevere we've done carpets let's see how well this shark vacuum cleans hard floors I'm back in my kitchen with another load of mess to pick up. I'll be using the hard floor setting, i.e. with the brushes rotating at a slower speed, and I'm going to use the maximum suction of this shark corded upright. Something tells me it's not going to give us a clean sweep like shark's duo clean models, but you never know. We'll never know until we try. So switch on and we'll get cleaning. Well, I've got egg on my face. It hasn't done a bad job. Okay, it's not quite as good as a duo clean model. It has left a few bits here and there, but more or less, it's cleaned pretty well. Didn't really snow plow the dirt either, but it was a little bit scrapey and scratchy as I was pushing it along the floor. It certainly didn't glide along the floor as easy as a duo clean model. Well, might as well clean up the rest of this mess.
Well, folks, I think I'm going to end this video here because I'm all hot and bothered. More bothered than hot. I'm bothered that I've spent my money on this particular Shark vacuum cleaner. I've been online to look at the ratings for this machine and it gets many five and four star reviews. So a lot of people are very happy with it. Of the people that have given it negative reviews, most of them say the same thing. It's virtually impossible or extremely hard to push on their carpet. So it's the same issue I've had even on shorter pile carpets, it's very hard to push. I thought I might have trouble with it on my living room carpet. I didn't expect to have as much trouble on shorter pile carpets. It's doable on a shorter pile, but it's still quite hard to push on maximum. So it really is, for me, a thumbs down for this particular shark. I featured a lot of different sharks this week over Shark Week. A lot of them I feel very positively about and I like them and hopefully the last video tomorrow I'll be featuring a shark that I like a lot better than this one. Saying that, if you're interested in this type of shark, it is a cheaper shark if you want a shark upright, perhaps buy it from a retailer that offers a no quibble guarantee so you can try it in your home for maybe 30 days and return it if it's just not for you. Unfortunately, with most of us having to shop on the internet now more than ever, we can't go into physical stores a lot of the time and try them out. But even when we can try them in a physical store, we still can't try them out in our own homes. And that's where you need to try them. So I've shown you in this video that it's just, it's not for my home, but it might be for your home. If you have any comments or questions about this shark cleaner, please comment below. Tune in same time, same place tomorrow for the last video in Shark Week. Bye for now.